जी बिस्मिल्ल रन रही सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एस्टिमेट द नेगेटिव स्टील इन स्लैब दिस इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ द स्लैब स्टील डिटर्मिनेशन इन विच वी डिड द पॉजिटिव स्टील एस्टिमेशन एंड हेयर वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद द नेगेटिव स्टील सो वट इज़ अ नेगेटिव स्टील फर्स्ट वी हैव टू डिस्कस ऑन दैट वट इज़ अ नेगेटिव स्टील नेगेटिव स्टील इज दैट स्टील विच इज यू प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द नेगेटिव मोमेंट्स नाउ वट आर नेगेटिव मोमेंट्स in order to uh, understand that i am going to make one video in which i am going to uh, draw the bending moment diagrams of uh, a beam in which you are able to see whether this is having a positive moment or a negative moment so at this stage i'm just going to tell you that why do we provide negative steel we provide negative steel to avoid the upheaving of the structures or you can say it is provided in the upper side of the Uh, any structure if for example if we talk about a beam and if the edges of the beams are supported on two walls and uh, the min the central portion is free then the and the load is applied at the center the beam is going to sag down sag downwards and the edges are going to move upwards so in order to avoid the beam sagging downwards we are providing positive steel at the center or you can say at the uh, base of the slab so because the steel is strong in tension so we have to control the sagging uh, with this steel we provide the positive steel in the middle and because the edges can move upwards in order to um, uh, restrict them moving upwards we have to provide steel in the upper side of that slab so wherever the supports are going to come we also have to provide steel in the upper side of the slab and uh, we say that steel as the negative steel so in this slab the previous one was having positive steel number 4 at 8 inches center to center and number 4 at 9 inches center to center in this uh, next sheet we have the negative steel of this slab the dimensions the curtailment lengths are given the curtailment lengths depend whether it is a continuous one or a discontinuous one you can see the code for that anyways the lengths are given if you all the estimators you you, you will be given the lengths you just you just need to calculate the and estimate the steel so this tells you that this is 3 ft 4 inches from this edge now up to this uh, length and this edge and it runs at a distance of 9 inches from this edge to this edge and the spacing in between of these uh, bars is 4 inch uh, not 4 inch the spacing is 9 inch and this the diameter of this uh, bar is number 4 which is half inch here also number 4 here also number 4 here also number 4 all the spaces are 9 inches fine that is more easier to do now what i am going to do is the actual procedure is same 100% same that you have to multiply the volume with the density but to do so we have to calculate the volume of these bars now the length of these bars are different everywhere so we have to calculate the length of the bars four times and then we have to add them so for that i am just going to copy this previous sheet if any one of you wants to know how i made this previous sheet you can see the rcc slab steel determination video in which i am going to calculate this positive steel i am going to zoom that a little bit here the uh, the inner slab dimensions i have written i don't uh, yes i do require the inner slab dimensions to calculate the length of the uh, the to calculate the total number of bars here total slab dimension is this enter the steel diameter in x direction now i am going to uh, do uh, calculate the volume of this sides of slab uh, this side sides of uh, steel bars and then this side of steel bars then this side of steel bars and then this side of steel bars so first i am going to calculate for one side which is this side let us say enter the steel di diameter in x direction which is number 4 fine in steel diameter i am going to say 1 in x direction i am going to insert and i am going to copy that enter the steel diameter to in x direction so second i am saying to this steel bar one is this two is this three is this four is this so the second one is also number 4 fine enter the steel spacing in x direction let me just cut that and insert cut cells here so one is the diameter second is the spacing of enter the steel spacing one in x direction fine now this is the spacing which is 9 inches i'm going to click here 9 okay ji now i'm i am i have inserted this uh, 
two rows here and I'm going to insert a couple of more rows so that in case I require any one of them I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste them here this is the steel diameter 2 this is the spacing 2 and now this is in X direction now I have to copy these four and place them here control C control V now I'm going to replace everything here with the letter Y X is being replaced with Y now it has enter the steel diameter which is 4 number 4 as spacing is 9 inches 4 and spacing is 9 inches steel diameter 1 in y direction which is number 4 find the spacing is 9 inches number 4 here this is number 4 yes but the spacing is 9 inches yes converted density of steel is also there I'm going to save that file number of bars in x direction we have to calculate now we also have to calculate this four times because we require the, the, the spacing is different now here luckily the spacing is same 9 inches 9 inches and the length is same to us but the length of this bar is different and the length of this bar should be different but here it is also same so you can do that for in one line as well but I'm going to do this for different lines because if I get a different containment length here the volume will be different so number of bars in x1 direction I'm going to calculate that what is the length the length is 14.75 now the uh, negative steel is going to be placed from this edge to this edge and we are to get the length in inches by multiply with 12 minus clear cover minus 1.4 this is the clear cover from both sides of the slab fine divided with j15 the spaces will be of its own bar 9 inches plus 1 you get 21 bars fine we were having the same spacing that is why the same number of bars are there now number of bars in x2 direction I'm going to calculate which will be same why because the spacing is same and for this I'm going to select this cell steel spacing in x direction enter now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this number of bars in y1 direction we are going to calculate and here we are going to calculate y2 now here the spacing will be this one and the bar diameter will be um, in y1 direction it is taking oh we have to take this first and then the number of bars in y1 direction steel diameter in y1 direction and spacing of this one we have to take click enter again 21 we get now but this length we have to take now this one so that's why we get 19 bars now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to double click here and going to paste here control V and for this I need this spacing enter you get 21 21 19 and 19 bars now the number of bars are same because the spacing is same in positive steel the spacing was same so that's why the number of bars in both of them is same here it is having 8 inch spacing that's why it is showing us the 21 bars so here we have 9 inch spacing so we have 19 bars now what to do I'm going to save that we have to calculate the volume of them individually because their lengths are different here 2 foot 11 inches and here 3 foot 8 inches that's why we have to perform the uh, mass calculation separately for them area of bars in x direction volume of bars in x direction now we are going to replace that with x1 volume of bars in x1 direction and i'm going to insert some cells here because i know i have to copy this and i have to paste here so area of bars in x2 direction volume of bars in x2 direction similarly area of bars in y1 direction area of volume of bars in y1 direction then we have to insert two rows and i have to copy paste this control c control v area of bars in y2 direction and volume of bars in y2 direction so area of bars in y1 direction pi r square into l now the length 
नंबर ऑफ बार्ज इन एक्स वन डायरेक्शन पाई आर स्क्वेयर इन टू नॉट द लेंथ वी हैव टू कैलकुल मल्टीप्लाई दैट विद द नंबर ऑफ बार्ज सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज फाइन वॉल्यूम ऑफ बार्ज नाउ हेयर इट इज गोइंग टू आस्क मी अबाउट द लेंथ ऑफ द बार सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट द लेंथ ऑफ द बार हेयर लेंथ ऑफ बार एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू इनपुट द लेंथ एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मर्ज दैट एक्स वन एक्स टू दिस विल बी वाई वन एंड दिस विल बी वाई टू वाई टू लेंथ ऑफ बार इन एक्स वन डायरेक्शन वी हैव थ्री फिट फोर इंचज so we have to convert 4 in you can convert all in inches or or in feet so if you want to convert 4 in feet we get 4 divided by 12 this is 0.33 so we get 3.33 or 3.34 i'm going to use the units of feet number of bar length of bar in x2 direction same going to copy that this i am also going to copy in all the four rows now i have length of bar in y1 direction y1 direction is this one 2 ft 11 inches and 11 inches is equal to 0.916 ft so it will be 2.916 ft here and the other side is 3 ft 8 inches so 8 inches if we say is equal to 0.67 so 3.67 feet i'm going to get the length of this four, fourth bar going to save that again so volume for the volume you require the area you have to multiply it with its length x1 now the length is in feet and the you can say the volume is in inches so we have to convert the feet in inches again or you could have entered the values in inches aap kar sakte the just multiplying this with 12 to get the answer in inches i'm going to copy this formula I'm going to double click here it will be copied okay ji now i'm going to use this inch one to get the volume in inches now i have the area by d square into the number of bars i'm going pi r square not d square d a will be divided by 2 to get the radius pi r square into the number of bars fine this is the total volume of bars in the x direction now we have to find the total volume of bars in the x2 direction i'm going to increase its length a little bit so that it so this is so the steel diameter in x direction this number of bars in x2 direction will be this enter and the volume will be volume of bars in x2 direction this is the area multiply by the length they are taking is x2 direction this one and you should not multiply now with 12 Fine. What is the volume of bars in x direction? There is some mistake here. This is the area. Area multiplied with the length. We have multiplied here with twelve again. So I think this we need to correct. We don't need to multiply this with twelve because we are already converted that in inches. So I'm going to delete that. And here you can say now the answer is same. I'm going to do the same thing. for this one uh, for this one and all others area of bars in x2 direction y2 i'm going to use the here this is y1 so y1 diameter in the spacing in y1 direction is this one enter and the volume again need to be changed y1 will be this one area of bars in y2 direction is this 
to the length of bar y2 you get area of bars pi oh, this should be the size of the bar y2 direction this is the area uh, size yes y2 and here as well the size should be this is 0.5 inches area of bars in y2 direction pi r square into l pi r square into number of bars the diameter is 0.5 inches we are getting 3.73 why are we getting 4.12 in y1 direction this is 0.5 ok this, these are the number of bars which we had to change in y1 direction 19 bars now it is fine now for y2 we have to calculate the volume delete this into 12 number 3 into the length the length becomes this y2 direction and now we have the volume number of bars area into this area into the length of y2 3 point not mm, the in feet I, it should be in inches again the volume this is fine but this should be in inches this one 164 this is fine so the units should be consistent you have to make sure you are multiplying with the right uh, cell having the same units now we have 165 165 130 and 164 why 130 because here the length is less and the area is less uh, the length is less and the you can say the diameter is same the number of bars are same only difference is in the length so when you have to increase the length you are going to have more volume here this is 164 now and 165 and 164 are almost same the mass of bars in x1 x2 y1 and y2 we have to calculate now i am inserting two rows here mass mass of bars in x1 direction mass of bars in y1 direction i am going to copy that and uh, let's say i have first insert here i am going to control c copy and control v x2 direction similarly y1 i am going to copy and going to paste here so this is the volume which is multiplied with this density it is fine i am going to drag that now the density column is there but the second cell has to be volume should be multiplied there now this is fine and the density is fine also by one direction let's drag that and the both of the things gets dragged enter so in this time i am going to add this plus this plus this plus this this is the amount of steel which you require for the negative steel so in this way you can calculate the amount of negative steel required in a slab this is also pretty easy not much difficult so once slab is done next time you just need to change these things and all the spacing and all the steel will be calculated by itself so thank you if there are some mistakes uh, you can just tell me and i will be happy to correct them thank you i love you